You're watching Transfiguration Today, your source for news from our church community. Hi there, welcome to Transfiguration Today. It's our first episode of 2013. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm Dan Blankowski. Before we look ahead to 2013, let's take a look back at another beautiful Christmas here at Transfiguration. person of the Blessed Trinity. The very Word of God that went before him and created everything that exists. The powerful and mighty Word of God that ordered the heavens and the earth. Shut himself up in this little maiden's womb and became one of us. Not pretending to be one of us. He became truly one of us. Hi, my name is Mike Potam, and yes, I am a speaker, and I go to church every Sunday, but if somebody stands here behind this podium the whole time, they're not going to be able to keep my attention. And the way I figure it is, is your time is valuable. If we're going to talk about faith and life, I'm not staying behind this podium. I'm going to be all over this church, trying to help you figure out and me figure out where God fits in ordinary life. So, if you're ready for something that's a little bit different than what you're used to, and you're willing to try to find out what our mission possible is, come to the Parish Awakening from January 27th to 30th, 2013. I look forward to seeing you somewhere out here. Well, if you've been paying any attention around Transfiguration, you know that the Parish Awakening Mission Possible is coming up. And here's a few things you need to know. We want to ensure that everyone has the opportunity to attend the events of the Awakening, if you have any difficulty driving or know someone who does, we can help arrange a carpool to all of the events that week. 
Then by the same token, if you're willing to help us out as a driver, we really need you. To either sign up as a driver or get matched up in a carpool, just contact Rita Norman in the parish office or visit transfiguration.com forward slash awakening. Also, we're looking to grow our small group faith sharing program during the awakening and into Lent. If you've ever felt inspired to be part of a group, now is the time. We're especially looking for host homes and contact Rita Norman for more information. Coming up later this month, you have the opportunity to become part of Transfiguration's parish-wide Prayer for Life. January 22, 2013 marks the 40th anniversary of the Supreme Court's decision on Roe v. Wade. Transfiguration's Respect for Life Committee is planning the annual pro-life procession to take place during all Masses the weekend of January 19th and 20th. So we're looking for people born each year from 1973 to 2012, as well as expectant mothers to participate in the procession at each Mass. If you're interested in participating or would like to take your children to participate, please visit the table in Bishop Hall after all Masses or contact Chad at this email address. Transfiguration's Garden of Eaton continues to grow. You may remember when we showed you the eighth grade religious ed students planting that garden, and now the produce is taking fruit, so to speak. The garden has provided wonderful fresh produce for the St. Vincent de Paul pantry. Now, if you have a green thumb, even a chartreuse thumb, we still need your help. Hands to work on the garden are always needed whether it's weeding, planting, or harvesting, helping in the garden is a terrific service experience for everyone, including families. So contact Nancy at this email address for more information on how you can help. It is a Transfiguration tradition. It's a fun family event, and it's all for a great cause, all rolled into one event, and it's right around the corner. Transfiguration's Night of Bowling returns on Sunday, January 20th. This family event offers a great opportunity to meet parishioners, win some door prizes, have a whole night of fun. Tickets are available from the Knights of Columbus after the Masses or at the door the night of the event. All proceeds from the Night of Bowling go to benefit the Stephanie Randall Memorial Scholarship Fund, which is given to one of Transfiguration's graduating high school seniors every year. So did you get a new camera for Christmas, maybe a new video camera? You are just the person we need here at Transfiguration. Matt Calvo is creating a new media team for videotaping and photographing parish events, and he needs your help. And for all the information on the first meeting of our new media team, just contact Matt Calvo for all the details. Well, that's it for another edition of Transfiguration today. Thank you for clicking on us. Feel free to share us on your Facebook page or tweet us out or even email the link to the video to your friends. Spread the good word. I'm Dan Blankowski. We'll see you back here again on Friday, January 18th for a fresh new edition of Transfiguration today. Happy New Year, everybody. Sky so well.